Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Eric Schmidt. He was the former CEO of Google and he has unofficially recommended NVIDIA as a buy. We're gonna dive into it, look at it, see what he has to say. And then as a long time NVIDIA uh, investor, I wanna give you my take. All right, let's jump into it. All right, Eric Schmidt, guys. He was a former CEO and chairman of Google, and he is optimistic about NVIDIA's future in AI, which has got me stoked. So just a little background, Schmidt's involvement in AI development at Google is what makes his words carry so much weight when it comes to this, because Google had early adoption when it comes to AI. We go all the way back to 2001. Yeah, 2001, Google used machine learning to correct spelling errors in search. That's insane that we go all the way back to 2001. Two skipping forward a few years, in 2006, Google launched Google Translate, where it used AI for language translation. Now, where was Eric Schmidt's role during all of this? Well, he was the CEO, guys, of Google from 2001 all the way up until 2011. So he was there at the very early stages of Google's embrace of AI. He also served as the chairman of Google's board and then, the, and then later the executive chairman until 2018. All right, let's look at his perspective on NVIDIA as a leader in AI. All right, so he recently gave a talk at Stanford University where he discussed NVIDIA's prospects in AI. Now, the video of the talk has been removed at Schmidt's request, otherwise I would link it so that y'all could watch it yourself. But let me just break down what he said. So he believes in NVIDIA's strong position right now, even at the price point, we'll talk more about that in a minute. But this is what he said, and he broke down NVIDIA's strong position into three points. Number one is this, major corporations plan to invest heavily in data centers using NVIDIA's GPUs. A lot of demand for companies, corporations to build out these data centers using NVIDIA's products. Number two, Schmidt cited a lot of figures that indicated massive investment needs by these corporations. We're talking about, uh, these are just some of the numbers he threw out, 20 billion, 50 billion dollars, 100 billion dollars as, as something that a corporation would want to spend on a project to build a data center just for NVIDIA's GPUs. And the third point he made was that competitors like AMD, which is also another great company, but AMD, other companies, other competitors like that lag way behind NVIDIA, according to Schmidt, particularly due to the widespread use of NVIDIA's CUDA, or C-U-D-A programming language in open source AI tools. People want to use NVIDIA because NVIDIA has the programming language that people are using to build out their AI tools. So what does that mean for the stock market? Well, Schmidt indirectly recommended NVIDIA as a buy. He implied that if $300 billion are headed to NVIDIA, then it's a clear stock market signal to buy. Now he clarified it wasn't an official stock recommendation, but he heavily hinted at NVIDIA's growth potential. Look at, uh, and then look at NVIDIA's financial projections. NVIDIA's revenue in Q1, fiscal 2025, 26 billion. Projected revenue for Q2, 28 billion dollars. Guys, that's some insane revenue with potential for even greater growth. What are the broader implications for NVIDIA's customers? Because if you're a major customer for NVIDIA, you've got an advantage because companies that are investing heavily in NVIDIA's chips are going to outpace smaller competitors. Schmidt alluded to a widening gap between top AI models, likely including Google Gemini, OpenAI's GPT-4, and Anthropic's Claude. Now, there are some caveats, 
there are some considerations. I wanted to give you all this at the end of this video, guys. So potential risks of investing in NVIDIA. Number one, Schmidt's bullish view on NVIDIA does not guarantee results, guys. You cannot say just because someone knows what they're talking about that what they say is gonna happen is going to happen. Stock market is a wild west, you guys. It's a roller coaster. You get on, you don't know what's gonna happen in the near future. So, number two is this, guys. Investors need to be cautious as NVIDIA may not suit every portfolio. You gotta consider what your goal is, what your aim is. And then my big thing is market cap valuation. NVIDIA's market cap is $3.2 trillion right now, and that reflects significant sales growth expectations. Valuation experts suggest NVIDIA might need new growth markets beyond AI infrastructure if it wants to continue to grow. I think it's very expensive, guys, and that's why I'm, I'm not buying any NVIDIA stock anytime soon uh, because uh, just to show you where I'm at, I bought NVIDIA uh, last January 2023, almost two years ago, all right? And I've seen absolutely incredible growth. My return right now is 850%, 850% on my NVIDIA stock. But I bought it, I started buying it all the way back in October 2020, all right? so. I'm not buying any more right now because I just don't, I don't know if it's gonna blow up. There may be other stocks that are better buys. And that's why guys, if you're a subscriber to the channel, then you know I post a video every week telling you what stock I am buying. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button guys, join the community. And hey, leave a like, support the video. If you enjoyed this video, want more videos like this, leave a like um, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. But just despite all the risks, Schmidt's confidence in NVIDIA suggests significant potential in AI. And investors, consider NVIDIA's future opportunities, but be mindful of their current market valuation. All right, guys, I hope you all have an awesome day. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Take it easy. Peace.